Hey guys, and welcome back to another How To Crucible. Today, we are looking at the GN7 rifle, a pulse rifle, my GN7 pulse rifle. So today, we're looking at this gun. Um, it is, again, like I've said, a pulse rifle. It's an arc type. It's just a secondary weapon. So um, it was really pretty cool to use. Um, it was actually uh, kind of weird kind of weird to use to be honest so my overall feelings was th with this thing was um if i had a really good team uh we were we were um shacks was cutting it short every time and if i had a bad team shacks was also cutting it short so uh when this when i was with a great team this gun was unbelievable but when i was with a bad team it again it just it didn't but towards the end of it it did kind of hold its weight so i I don't know how to think about this weapon. This gun, this gun gave me confusion in the brain at the beginning, and then at the end, it, it turned out to be insane. I I don't know. Um, so let's talk about usage strategy. Um, so with this gun, it's actually pretty decent. So you can be more aggressive than the last one that we just did, um, where you're kind of just sitting around and doing that. But I would actually recommend just keeping people at pretty good distance away from you and just you know rotating around the map as as you please really kind of uh, hanging around your teammates and stuff. It's it's one of those guns that actually is just, it, it kind of promotes a lot of different play styles. Um, so the one that I used really was kind of just hanging with my team, getting some team kills with them and, and doing that because it, it is a team killing monster. Like it is nuts. If you're with somebody else, combined fire is absolutely ridiculous. So let's move on to the numbers. So for PVE, I did not do PVE ouch so let's move on to the number so we i i didn't do pvp this time or pve this time because i really didn't want to do pve um i don't think i need pve of for the how to crucible series so we're just gonna kind of phase the pve out um entirely so the next episode i, I probably won't even talk about it <laughs> but for pvp um we are going to have kills deaths and uh the kd so the total kills that we had were 370. The total kills that we, or total deaths that we had was 176. Um, my best game I wasn't able to record. So the ones you're seeing now wasn't the ones I recorded, but I went 30 and 12 with 2.5 KD. And then I went 26 and two with a 13.0. Those were back to back games. Um, it was nuts. I was actually just going crazy. But like my worst game is like, I think the lowest KD is like a 1.5, so it's not even bad, and there's only two of those. So, <laughs> I think I did pretty well with this weapon. Um, the overall KD, the end, the final KD is a 2.1, which is actually, actually nuts. So, you know, this gun's obviously pretty good. This gun's obviously pretty good. I mean, come on, come on. So, let's move on to the How To Crucible ranking system let's go so range long range versus short range so long range i am going to give this weapon an eight for long range just because it was that kind of weapon it was it was easy to use at points but i was getting destroyed by your mita tools your uh, no time to explains. That's a new one now that everyone's using. Um, but yeah, there were other weapons that I was getting destroyed by. But if I was hitting my shots and I was shooting from range, I was doing pretty well with myself. I was I was actually doing pretty well. Um, moving on to short range. Short range, it was okay. I, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a seven for short range just because it was particularly easy to hip fire. I don't know if that's because mine had different perks or what it had, but um, it definitely didn't have the different perks because it only had armor piercing grounds firmly planted in rangefinder. So mine had rangefinder. That's maybe why range is affected the way that it is, but you know, eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, short range seven. It I did have times where I unscoped my weapon and just hip fired and got the kills so it's it's not a terrible weapon for short range it it's not ideal but it's it's definitely not bad moving on to a recoil so as you can see here um shooting this weapon is not bad at all really i i really like the recoil of this weapon it felt good it felt easy to handle it wasn't terrible um it, it really did feel uh pretty smooth 
uh, over some of the other weapons that I've used. So like hand cannons, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it felt a little bit better than those. So for recoil, we're giving it an eight. Moving on to solo, solo takedown. So for solo takedowns, I'm going to give it a seven. Uh, it was good. It was good using it like that, but it was sometimes fairly difficult. Like again, I said the Mita tool or no time to explain or people just using stasis. You know, the Crucible is in a weird state currently. So yeah, that's that's kind of how I've been having to deal with the Crucible at this point. <laughs> uh, moving on to team takedowns. Team takedowns, I am giving it a 10. It's getting a 10 in team takedowns, specifically because I, it, a solo score of 7 is definitely a team score of 10. I, like, if, if we were combined fire, like I said, it's a beast. Absolutely destroying people. All right, moving on to effectiveness, our second to last. So effectiveness, um, I ended up calculating it out, and it's going to be a 6.8, which is actually really, really good for an effectiveness rating. Um, anything above... Uh, a six is actually really, really good. Um, just because it's this is purely based off of my numbers, purely based off of my KD. So, uh, you know, because it is it is uh, the 370 kills divided by the kills plus the death. So it's like 546 or something like that. So it ended up being a pretty pretty cool number, which is a 6.8. So yeah, so. For frustration, though, we have to move to the last one, obviously. Frustration. What was frustration? What was frustration? It was a zero. I, I really wasn't frustrated with this weapon. I was the first four matches because I didn't, I guess I didn't really understand how to use a pulse rifle. <laughs> I guess that's just kind of what I need. I think I need to do some uh, warm-up matches with the weapon, especially now that I'm only doing 20 matches a week for this series. I should definitely be doing at least just five warm-up matches. Maybe, maybe that's what my gambit is, the five warm-up matches. So yeah, I, I definitely need to be doing um, some warm-up matches with this weapon because I was frustrated, but towards the end of this, I, I was not frustrated at all. All right, so the final score for the GN7 is a 46.8. 46.8 is actually really good. If it's over a 45, it is a very, very good weapon because that's that's literally only 15 points left to, to get. You know, that is, you know, 40, 46.8 out of 60 is pretty pretty good it's getting up to, to like a 4.3 type of star there <laughs> so um yeah no i had a really i had a really good time with this weapon so let's move on to the ranking system so for the pulse rifles since it is the only pulse rifle we have done so far it's going to be the number one pulse rifle absolutely amazing thank you gn7 for your hard work and dedication to becoming the first the first number one pulse rifle <laughs> moving on to the the actual ranking the htc out of every single gun that i have it is going to be number one again look at that it's taking number one over the arsenic bite which is the only other weapon that we have done uh, so yeah um, it is number one in both categories. Again, um, once this series starts getting a little bit bigger and a little bit more heftier in terms of the lore that we're doing, it is going to go down. Um, it's not all, they're not always going to be number ones in the, <laughs> they're not always going to take the top spot. So yeah, but, uh, I think the, 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 the final feelings of the GN7 was, you know, overall it was a really, really nice weapon. Um, I am going to be keeping it in the vault. Uh, unlike Arsenic Bite. Arsenic Bite is has been deleted. I, I, every time I get Arsenic Bite, it is deleted. I don't ever want that weapon again. Um, but yeah, it, it has been pretty decent. It's been pretty decent, and uh, I, I, hope, I hope to find more weapons like this one. Yeah. So the next weapon, I think I'm thinking a hand cannon or an auto rifle. We'll see. I'll have to choose. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next How-To Crucible.